What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, multiple of you guys actually sent me a link to this uh, Red Dwarf The Promised Land special. So I appreciate all you guys uh, that sent me a link. Here we are. Red Dwarf The Promised Land 2020. Hour and a half. We're going to break this down into three different parts. I'm very excited to jump into this one because I wasn't ready to end my Red Dwarf journey just yet. However, before we do, if you guys happen to enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, let's dive right into part one. Okay, so, so we know these parts. Let me make sure of something. Okay. All day. All day. We get to meet the cats. We get to meet the cats. I'm so freaking excited. I'm so freaking excited for this. I'm so excited. You can't take over as the god. Lister was the one who saved the species. He is the he's the cat god. You can't do this. Out of there. I'll send a call to the ship of 
cup. Oh, this is gonna be such a dope freaking three quarter. I'll do my boy cry right here, like, listen to it. Come on now. Also, I can't help but notice that in the morning you've often had a midnight snack. It's one of the odd ice cream waffle sandwich, some cheesy fries, and a beer milkshake. Followed by a main course. Not always a main course, sometimes I'm too drunk. Also, sir, you've been collecting rather a lot of junk. What junk? Where's junk? There's junk. This isn't junk, this is antiques. Salvage from Cargo Bay 15. I've never been through any of that stuff yet. I've already found music for rocking dads, knickers, and an I Love Boy Band badge in pristine condition. What happened to you, bud? You're a wreck. Then perhaps I should use my sweetest massage chair that doesn't have batteries. <laughs> no one is blaming you, sir. You're carrying an enormous burden. The future of the human race is entirely in your... Don't even finish it. Cry it. We don't need to finish it. Just, uh, that's enough. That, that, that's a, You know what? <laughs> hey, if, it was if it's the human race time, it, it's the human race time. Mr. Lister and yourself could then do the necessary. Let me finish and produce a child together. I'm more 
pathetic, intuitive, <coughs> and nicer. <laughs> Have you never seen my legs? <laughs>
Holly spare disc? The defense rests. <laughs> Holly had a spare disc? Well, oh, where is it? Let's get it installed. God dang. Back on my yeah, yes. My name is Holly. Holly, it's us. You're back, dude. I am Red Dwarf's computer. I have an IQ of 6,000. What's wrong with him? He's been in the cargo bay for three million years, leaning up against a damp wall. I should have made it better, not worse. <laughs> who are you? Please explain. Oh, of course. He's returned to factory settings. He doesn't know who we are. Holly, allow me to introduce myself. I am first technician Arnold J. Rimmer, BSC, SSC. <laughs> Acting senior officer of Red Dwarf. This is Brighton, an unimportant sanitation droid. Cat, <laughs> <laughs> a feline sapien. And Lister, a human, or so he maintains. <laughs> I can't find any record of Brighton or a cat in the ship's manifest. No record? I've got this ass on board for 30 years straight. <laughs> That's because he went part of the original crew hall. Cat descended from domestic house cats, and we found Crichton in this crash ship, the Nova 5. He was looking after three skeletons, totally unhinged. <laughs> now I'm on Red Dwarf, fitting right in. <laughs> Are you aware of the role I perform, hologram? You're the Red Dwarf computer, Holly. You control the ship. I'm also tasked with appraising Red Dwarf's worth to the Duke to mine a corporation, and decommissioning it if it serves no useful purpose. Oh, God. Uh oh. <laughs> Obviously, this doesn't happen while a ship has a crew performing essential duties. Oh, God. Or even performing duties to an adequate level. Oh, oh God. Ah, <laughs> oh, but Holly, if I may, JMC Protocol insists no ship may be decommissioned if it contains living crew members who are enlisted on the manifest. Alrighty then, we're sorted. I'm listed. Looking through the records, crew man, Lister, I see you smuggled an unquarantined cat on board. As a result, you have forfeited all your crew privileges, including your rights of residency on Red Dwarf. I will therefore decommission the ship. You what? Red Dwarf will be retired from active service. He's crazy! As part of this process, the ship's nuclear reactors will be dumped in the nearest black hole, along with the ship's hologram. Ah, oh, Dave. <laughs> He's starting to win me around. <laughs> you can't dump me in a black hole. I have my rights. We want to appeal. Maybe not all of us. We begin the deactivation process. Due to the complexity of this operation, it will take seven days. Dang, just take the thing back out. Brighton said he wanted to see me. Yeah, I need your advice. This door keeps jamming. And do you want to repair this thing? I've no record of a malfunctioning door in airlock seven. Ah, uh, well, maybe the feedback system's down as well, Holt. Oh, we'll check it out, yeah? Cover your mouth. He can't hear us. He may have an IQ of 6,000, but is he as smart as us when we put our heads together? <laughs> Not even close. Look at him, the was a word we say. 
we going to do? No choice. I'm going to have to shut him down. But how? EMP. Electromagnetic pulse weapon. The evidence shuts down. We uninstall the Harley. Let me toss the dozy wazzing back on the garbage pile again. <laughs> <laughs> All fixed now, Hoff. Just for the record, I heard every word you said. Dozy <laughs> Wazza, Dauntless Gimp, everything. What about stupid bald Gimp? You didn't say that in there. No, but I'm saying it now. <laughs> hey, I know you're glad. It's not happening. Oh, really? And where's Crichton? He's in the MOS. Detonate a meteorite to create electromagnetic energy to take out the ship's grid at noon. Just precisely ten seconds from now, and there ain't a damn thing you can do to stop him, Baldy. Oh my days! It's the night. Tonight, Crichton. You said twelve a.m., sir. Twelve a.m. noon. But twelve a.m. is midnight, sir. Is it? I thought twelve a.m. is noon. No, that's twelve p.m., sir. Oh, I'm the mineral ore storage bay is now safe off for tomorrow. Yes, sir. God damn. Great. <laughs> oh my god. Red Dwarf is cooked, man. Three months later. It's crazy. It's River Fault, God dang it. If you would have uh, took the distress call and let Crichton take it, y'all be good. One billion light years in diameter, in fact. Sometimes I can't find stuff in our fridge that's only three feet in diameter. Wait, I'm getting something. I don't think it's the ship that passed Red Dwarf. It's something else. Some kind of deep space reconnaissance ship. Handshaking now. The ship is called the Iron Star and was built several hundred years after Red Dwarf, with presumably all that brings in technological advances. If this ship's in decent nick, we could have struck gold here. This could be our new hope. I'll download the Iron Star's floor plan and show you around. Right 
this? It creates a force field around food you've elected not to eat. Like some kind of slimming aid. It's on the no meat vegan setting. Small cookery, no thanks. I like me cookery, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this tech do? Can it upgrade my light beam? Well, according to the notes, it gives holograms the ability to manipulate light in all its forms. What the hell does that mean? I'm not exactly sure. I suggest we take the tech back to Starbuck and conduct further tests before we embark on an untested pathway. I'm not waiting while you conduct your damn big happy European Space Agency safety <coughs> tests, with me having to go before a committee of meddling grey-suited bureau droids and answer multiple choice questions on where I'm most likely to find a croissant. <laughs> I'll take my chances now, thank you so much. Sir, this is technology we're unfamiliar with. We need more time to evaluate if it's safe. Right. I want the upgrade now, and that's an order. Deactivate. Ah, day. Sure, this is safe. And perhaps I'm over worrying, sir. After all, what's the worst that can happen? I'm making the list. I'm up to ten already. Make that eleven. What the? What's going on? I'm back to soft light. Uh, uh, no need to panic, sir. I believe it's just going through the gears. Oh, okay. Jump, I feel stronger, better, more powerful. It's still going. I <laughs> felt this amazing since I cataloged all my books and obsessive compulsive disorder using the Jimmy Decimal system. <laughs> oh no! Congratulations, sir. You've upgraded to Diamond Light. How do you feel? Incredible. <laughs> I like the kick too, River. What the? Ah, oh, dang. I'm a superhero. I swear they done created Super River, dog. I need a name. Super Snake No, something better. The Mighty Light. I've never felt so powerful, so utterly amazed. <laughs> mighty Light. More like shitey Sprite. Time left. Well, glitter guy to the cable kid. <laughs> the charge is spent. It's almost certain you'll shut down permanently. Though I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> Why on earth did we do the transfer without carrying out the proper safety tests? Well, because you ordered me not to, sir. Yes, but why did you listen to me? You know I often don't know what I'm talking about, and when I don't, it's your job to say something. <laughs> you did charge, sir. It's really not hard enough. You are on report. Brighton 2x4b offense. Listening to me. <laughs> Come 
That's a crazy reward. What am I supposed to do? Stay here? I've come to. Just use the extension leads. so sorry we got to end the first part right there absolutely loving this i can't wait to continue but that's all we got today and if you enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe get a video thumbs up check out the next one i'll see you guys next time